Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Friends, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. Ow. Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the Father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Hey, rookie. Rookie. You're wasting your time. There's no signal out here. Crossing over the hand bane now. Officially in Peggy country. How much longer? Just long enough for you to change your mind. So we can turn this bird around. You want me to ignore a federal warrant, Sheriff? No, sir. I want you to understand the reality of this situation. Joseph Seed, he's not a man to be fucked with. We've had run-ins with him before. They haven't always gone our way. Just sometimes. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. Yeah, well, we have laws for a reason, Sheriff. And Joseph Seed's gonna learn that. Pratt, open a call with dispatch. Four. White Horse to dispatch, over. Corrado. We're approaching the compound, Nancy. Over. Roger, Sheriff. You still planning to go through with this? We are. Unfortunately, still trying to talk some sense in our friend, the Marshal. Over. All right. Lucky I'm not there. Get into any trouble, you just let me know. Over. Ten four, over and on. Maybe we should have brought Nancy along with us instead of the Proby. These Peggy's wouldn't fuck with her. Pratt. Why do you keep calling them Peggy's? Project at Eden's Gate. P.E.G. Peggy's is what the locals call them. You know, they started off harmless enough a few years back, but now they are armed to the T. Yeah, you know, they're looking for a fight. Are you scared, Sheriff? We're here. Compound's just below. <sighs> oh, my Jesus. This is a bad idea. Last chance, Marshal. Be in the 
church. Stick close. What the fuck you doing? Eyes open. Follow the chair. These folks can smoke easily. Rook, I mean, you've done nothing serious. I'm ready. Stay calm. Stay calm, everyone. Go about your business. It's just concerning. Why are they bothering us? Oh, they're just a piece of good man. This is why I like this Jesus Christ. They're wearing badges, right? Yeah, but they don't respect badges. They'll respect a 9mm. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet, Marshal. You're about to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us. Take our guns. Take our freedom. Take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, Just come on. Hold on we will not let their greed or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff. Sure. There will be no more back. suffering. Oh, fuck. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. moment would come. We've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal and I heard, as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Sign up. Get the fuck out of here. 
Marshal, take point. We're going right. On it. Stay on the path, rookie. Just fine here. No need to call anyone. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. No one is coming to save you. Father! God has kept you under the shadow of his wings. Everything is unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. The first seal has been broken. The collapse has begun. But we will take what we need. And we will preserve what we have. And we will kill all those who stand in our way. And these, the harbingers of doom, will see the truth.
computer can stop us. Find those sinners. Head for the lumber mill. I'll be waiting. I need some help up here. Sorry, I thought they got you. Come on, come on. Come on, check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus, I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula, and then, we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these... Okay, shh.
got the keys for the truck. Cover me!
children. And together, we will march to... You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it. For years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. <sighs> Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation.
You there? This is Ray Ray. What the hell is going on? We've, we've heard a miss of gunshots, and I, I swore that weren't thunder earlier, but, but a couple of explosions. Boomer's all riled up and won't settle down. Is this more of them Peggy's bullshit? How much are we gonna stand for? Anyway, call me back when you can, and take care of yourself. Check, check. I say again, this is Dutch. Check. Good. You found something that fits. But... I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want him back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken, too. The problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's got to be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're going to do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Flat there. It's crawling with 
Peggy's. Those fuckers are willing to die for that psychopath that's leading them.
Hey, Henry. I I'm at the edge of the wood near where you spotted the fire sign. I don't know what that showboater was doing buzzing the treetops, but the sky is now clear air traffic. That smoke plume is pretty thick, but I need a closer look. What I can't figure out is what all these peggies are doing out here. There's a whole bunch of them in the woods, calling out like they're looking for someone. I, I don't know if they're involved, but they seem pretty crusty and... Holy hell! A pickup just drove by like nobody's business, and the peggies in the back row carrying rifles and shotguns. I'm gonna... Holy shit! Grab a guy down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favor. Hey, Lance. I'm not sure what to advise. The seeds don't have any claim to the property. The station is... But if their people are traipsing around the area, and what did you say, taking measurements and such? Anyway, those folks from Eden's Gate could potentially be charged with trespassing. Another kind of weird and unsociable, but I 
I think if you give them a harsh word and a hard stare, they'll back off. I mean, how dangerous are these nut jobs gonna be? These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squirreled away. shit that's been squirreled away. We'll go take a look. Dead man. Thanks. Get ready, assholes! You're no better than them! I'll fight alongside you. Hey, deputy. Now that you're partnered up, the two of you should head to the forest research station. Ghosts been crawling all over that place, using it as a depot for their goddamn bliss. Clear them all out.
research station. Thanks a million. Peggy's won't be back after the ass whooping you just laid on him. While you're there, check around and see if any folks are left alive. I know how this is gonna end. Shit, kid. I'm impressed. There's more fighting you than I thought. Serious. You got a real shot at setting up this resistance. Next step is clearing up the radio signal. My CB's on the fritz. I can't get a hold of anyone off this island. The radio tower near the south shore must be busted. Seriously, thank you. Maybe we brought this on ourselves. Gotta take what the dead don't need.
discussion. You may want to build some dynamite. Luckily, folks around here have been stockpiling all the materials you might need. Let's just grab them up. Get crafting. I'm on it. In position. Everyone here has done something small at one point or another. Being handy gives you an edge. You're always needed by someone for something. Enough of a bee today. You're good. thinking and no. I ain't gonna have you climbing towers all over the county for me, so don't worry. Also, try not to fall from up there.
look at the big picture. Zoom your map out so we can see the whole county. Now, Hope County is divided into three regions. To the north, you got the Whitetail Mountains. It's run by Jacob Seed, oldest brother of that fucking family. Jacob's the one training the cult, and he's damn good at what he does. Eli and the Whitetail Militia have been trying to hold out, but Jacob's ready to step on their necks. Southeast of there, you got the Henbane River. That's Faith's territory. The little sister. I've heard all sorts of stories about people losing their minds in a place called the Bliss. Now head west to the Holland Valley. John C. has just rolled in there and has taken everything in the name of the cult. Food, supplies, and worst of all, people. Now they're gonna have plenty more calls all over the county. I'll keep you posted on anything that'll be useful. should be clearing soon, which means we can get you off this island. Sit tight, shouldn't be much longer. Oh shit. Deputy, I'm picking up something new out of Holland Valley. It's a broadcast from John. You need to see this. We are all sinners. Every one of us. You, me. <laughs> Even the Father knows deeply of sin. It's a poison that clouds our minds. What if I told you you could be free from sin? What if I told you that everything you ever dreamed could come true? What if I told you that everything could be overcome if you embraced an idea? That freedom from sin can come from the power of just one word. Burdened. Yes, I must be redeemed. If you're watching this, know that you have been selected. You will be cleansed, you will confess your sins, and you will be offered atonement. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. We'll come for you. Welcome to Eden's Gate. Fuck. John Seed's got your partner, Hudson. She's in a world of shit, kid. You gotta get going. Hey, kid. I marked three locations to your map to get you started. Lumber Mill up north, the Hope County Jail to the east, and the town of Falls End to the... Fuck. John Seed's got your partner, Hudson. She's in a world of shit, kid. You gotta get going. Three locations to your map to get you started. Lumber Mill up north, the Hope County Jail to the east, and the town of Falls End to the west. Now it's your call, but if I were you, I'd start with Falls End. Now 
Follow the gravel road off-island until you hit the Devil's Fork, and see which way the wind takes you. Best of luck, Deputy. I'll call when I've got some new info. Touch out. There's this girl out there, Skylar, amazing angler. She's looking for some help to catch the Admiral. We should track her down when we've got the chance. 